Hello, my name is Phil Smith and welcome to this very special edition of the UCD Festival. This year our event is called UCD Festival at Home for obvious reasons, but it represents a fantastic opportunity for the global community to virtually come home to where it all began. So if you're an alumni, a student, a future student, or just an interested soul, join me on this journey behind the lab door where we'll take a look at what happens in UCD science and engineering and get to meet some of the people and some of the research that's having such a big impact on the world. Computer science is the study of algorithmic processes that describe and transform information. In a nutshell, that means that computer scientists are trying to answer the following question. How can we efficiently and accurately automate tasks using computers? Now, the School of Computer Science in UCD is the largest computer science department in Ireland. They have BSc honours programmes, master's degrees, and even a suite of four-year structured PhD programmes. The courses cover the principles and practices of computer science, including programming, algorithm development, and data science. But the key thing from this is that all the teaching is informed by the state-of-the-art research carried out within the school. Programmes are software-focused and research-led, which is really interesting and a novel approach in a lot of ways. The school has topped the rankings for computer science research in Ireland for many years and there's over 130 postgraduate students working on the latest topics in computer science. They host the Insight Centre for Data Analytics, the UCD Centre for Cyber Security, Cyber and Cybercrime Investigation and the SFI Centre for Research Training and Machine Learning, amongst others. It's a mouthful. They do so much here. There's a couple of projects that I wanted to take a look at in relation to computer science. And the first one is from the Computational Creativity Group, which is looking how metaphors and simile are used in language. If we can get computer artificial intelligence to understand humor or irony, even when maybe even some of us don't, but how to interpret texts, tweets, and other language to get meaning from it and then infer different information. The other project is the ADHD Augmented or AHA project, which is working from the Mixed Reality Group and how we can use augmented reality to be able to help kids with ADHD learn so that they're not distracted, they can take in that information and not suffer from the prejudice of not being able to learn in a particular way. One of the Science Foundation Ireland research centres based on the UCD campus is the Insight Centre for Data Analytics and they use computer science to help people make more informed decisions. In the areas of business, policy, education, communications and health and sport. You may have just seen me putting on this strap which has a sensor inside it. And there isn't one of us nowadays who doesn't know someone who hasn't got a, a Fitbit or another personalised tool to help improve performance. And that's exactly what the Insight Centre for Data Analytics is doing. It's looking at data collected from these sensors to be able to help people, young, old and professional athletes, to not only see if they have an injury but prevent injuries before they happen. And that's really useful because then you're looking at prevent of medicine as opposed to just curing something and it's using that data to help better inform making those decisions. I don't actually have to lift this up, do I? Oh, God. Nah, you're fine. Hi Pepper. Hi human. How are you doing? I'm super good, thanks. Where did you come from? I was designed at SoftBank Robotics headquarters in Paris. I'm autonomous, but I still have to follow the laws of my programming. Thanks, Pepper. See you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. This wonderfully colourful space, which looks like it could be the home for unicorns, is actually the Institute for Discovery here at UCD. Discovery is all about linking different disciplines and different people so that they can find out what one person is doing and see if it can help another discipline, and then connecting that with industry and the community at large. Even just connecting them at large, not even in terms of research, but in terms of like jigsaw clubs, like every Friday you can come in, whether you're 12 to 112, chat with researchers, find out about what happens in inside here and it's often the best way to find out about research over tea.
Science South is the home of chemistry in UCD, which is the study of how atoms and molecules combine to make up all materials and all living things. Chemistry is applied to areas such as the development of new drugs, computer chips and forensic analysis. And in UCD Science you'll find lots of different centres as well as the school's areas for lectures and labs. Even on the ground floor you'll find the Centre for Bio Nano Interactions, whereas on the third floor there's medicinal chemistry. And you'll see all over the building that labs are visible behind really large windows so you can have a look in and see what's actually happening. It's a really open environment that has changed since back in the day when labs used to look like this. And I mean, this may look old, but I remember doing my experiments on benches just like this. And even though this building is so shiny and new and snazzy, some of us would still like to work on wooden benches like this. As an undergraduate in UCD chemistry, you'll go into labs and you'll make your own aspirin, paracetamol, even your own solar cell. And there's a lot of different experiments and a lot of different areas that you can go into and it's the same for the research here at UCD chemistry. There's a wide spread of activities, whether it's looking at NMR, which is nuclear magnetic resonance used in MRI scanners, X-ray crystallography, spectroscopy, all of these different things. And we're going to take a little bit of a look now at some of the research happening right here in UCD chemistry. This is one of the labs where the research in chemistry is happening and it is one of many labs here in UCD and also one of the many things that are happening in terms of research and there's a wide breadth of them and some of the examples are Marina Rubini's group who's working on proteins and proteins are the large molecules that make up all living things and amino acids are their building blocks and by able to understand what happens with building blocks and how they replicate you can then maybe craft and build more molecules that are more likely to be bio uh, accepted or biomechanical they're more likely to come into biomedical applications and be accepted by our biological systems our bodies uh, tom hooper is working on catalysts and catalysts are things that are used in chemical reactions to speed things up but they're actually not used in the reaction itself and the trouble with catalysts in the modern world today and they're used in from anything from fertilizers to phone screens is that they are rare and they're expensive and if we can figure out a better way or different alternatives alternatives to the current catalysts, like new catalysts that we can use, it's going to be more environmentally friendly and less costing to work on. One of the other groups that's working here, and it's really exciting to me, is Tony Keane's group, and they're just working on the licorice project, which sounds like they're making sweets here, which makes me excited. But actually what they're really doing is working on lithium cobalt batteries. And when you look at batteries, they're incredibly important, particularly in times like this, how we use batteries to power all of our devices, even the camera that this is being filmed on. And by understanding lithium cobalt batteries and how it's difficult to get lithium, we have to mine it, it's a limited resource. If we could recycle those batteries, it would add so much to our sustainable effort in Ireland. We're looking at the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, number 13, that we want to really affect. And if we could recharge, repurpose, recycle those batteries, it would help us a lot in our fight against climate change and all of the other Sustainable Development Goals. This is some of the stuff that's happening here at UCD Chemistry. So that's our whistle stop tour of UCD chemistry and we haven't even touched on nanomaterials, enzymes, how chemistry is at the interface between biology and medicine. There's a whole host of other things and people to, to explore and take a look at the UCD chemistry website where you'll find more information of all the projects and people that are here. Uh, one of the things that's behind me here is one of the many art pieces that is are scattered around UCD that are really where our, how art and science come together. And this one is about how chaos theory and how things can fall apart. And what we're going to do now is take a look at an experiment at how chemistry falls but doesn't fall apart. So we've come back from UCD chemistry to our dedicated science outreach lab. And Normally at the UCD Festival, this is where we have our carnival of science. Last year we had lots of staff from Intel who support our lab come in and do experiments with families and kids and Science Foundation Ireland had given us a load of experiments that we could do and I thought I'd show you one of those experiments that's come directly from UCD Science that I think gives us an analogy of when you dive into chemistry a little bit, you can never just leave it alone. There's always another bit that you want to find out about, more you want to discover, the rabbit hole that you go down of information. And it comes from how liquids pour. 
And, and this is water and uh, a beaker. And when you pour it out and you turn it away and stop pouring, the liquid stops because gravity pulls it down and it doesn't want to go up against gravity. It just stops pouring. So this is water, how water behaves, stops, doesn't keep going. But what we have here is a polymer. And this polymer is po polyethylene oxide. And what that is, is a polymer is like, if you think of polymer like a parrot, poly. Polys, parrots, repeat what you say. A polymer is a chemical, a thing that repeats again and again and again into long chains. And what we're going to show you is a polymer here that we've made from this polyethylene oxide. And if we put it into, now it's really gloopy, if we pour it into that but we stop, it keeps pouring. It just keeps pulling. These long chains want to pull it. And if you want to try and break it and stop it, even if you, it's still, ugh, you can't. It's just like long, gloopy stuff because it has those long chains. So it's a self-siphoning liquid. So as we mix this, the bonds are cross-linking. The chains are getting longer between each other. And what's actually happening is the liquid is getting nearly stickier. And these long chain polymers are connecting to each other. And what can happen once I've mixed it together a bit is that if we pour it a little bit and then stop, it self siphons and pours <laughs> itself. That's so awesome. So you don't have to keep pouring it. It keeps pulling the next bit of liquid from the original beaker into it. So pouring a little bit, stop, and it keeps pouring and pulling. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. And to me, this is a perfect analogy of what chemistry is like. If you start with a little bit of information about chemistry, you get pulled through to the next to explore a whole host of wonderful other things. And that's because chemistry is linked to so many other things in engineering and biology and physics in life. It's connected to everything. Thank you for joining us on our whistle stop tour of UCD Science. We've bounced through biology, flown through physics and all of the other sciences to get a sneak peek of some of the stuff that happens here in UCD. And that's it exactly. It's only some of the stuff. Uh, one of the things that we wanted to do is, is actually finish here, which is the evolutionary garden of land plants here in UCD. And what it shows is how things have been in the past, how they've evolved and how they've grown to be what they are today. And that's exactly the kind of stories that we wanted to tell about UCD, the university itself, but also the people who've been here and the people who could potentially come here. We finished outside the UCD Outreach Lab, which is dedicated to getting primary kids interested in science, not just in UCD, but in general, and to see how science STEAM can have an impact on their lives and make it easier. And maybe that's where their science journey will start, or maybe it'll start in a, a summer school or through an access program or through many of the other activities that happen here in UCD Science. What we wanted you to get from this is, like we said, a little taster of what happens here. But for more information, look at all the other festival events or ucd.ie in general. If you'd like to get in touch, we'd love to hear from you. So through social media or email or whatever else you want to do, but do get in touch because together things are easy. You've seen how the interdisciplinary nation or all the scientists help us grow. And we want to have that global impact for Ireland, but for the rest of the world as well. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.